This display shows the SIMS Climate Digest for March 2015, featuring highlights of the U.S. and global analysis products issued each month by NOAA's National Climatic Data Center. The Climate Digest conveys a visual interpretation of recent weather and climate conditions worldwide. In March 2015, the combined average global land and ocean temperature was the warmest since records began in 1880, surpassing the previous record of 0.09 Fahrenheit and 0.05 Celsius set in March 2010. The majority of this warmth accumulated in the Northern Hemisphere. For instance, in Scandinavia, temperatures ranged between 5 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 to 5 Celsius, warmer than average. Finland had its third warmest March in its 116-year period of record. In the United States, temperatures continued above normal in the west and southwest, but below normal in the northeast. The average temperature for the contiguous U.S. was 3.9 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average, making March 2015 the 12th warmest March on record. The states of California, Oregon, and Washington all had their second warmest March ever. But this was offset by cold temperatures in New England. Massachusetts and Rhode Island, for example, each had their top 10 cold March. Below average precipitation was observed among both the U.S. east and west coast. Above average precipitation was observed in the southern plains into the Ohio Valley. Texas had its fourth wettest March. On average, the lower 48 had their 19th driest March on record. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, 36.8% of the contiguous U.S. was in drought by the end of March. Northern and central Argentina experienced significant precipitation values, contributing to numerous floods in the region. Continuing with the warm trend, Australia observed its eighth warmest March since national records began in 1910. Queensland was the hot spot of the country with its warmest March on record. With the exception of northwestern Africa, much of Africa also had warmer than average temperatures during March of 2015. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies for March measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, weak El Nino conditions were present during March 2015. There is a 70% chance that these weak phase El Nino conditions will continue through the Northern Hemisphere summer. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The March sea ice extent for the Arctic was 7.3% below the 1981-2010 average, which is the smallest March sea ice extent since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move into the Antarctic, where March 2015 was 24.3% above the 1981-2010 average, the second largest sea ice extent on record for the month of March. And that is your March 2015 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.